Technology and Livelihood Education. Industrial Arts for Grade 7. Quarter 4 Week 2 Part 3. Codes and Standards in Industrial Arts Services. Our topic is Philippine Electronics Code. The content standard for this lesson is The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts in industrial arts services. The performance standard is The learners perform mensuration and calculations following safety precautions. Here are the learning competency and learning objectives for this lesson. What are the legal bases of the Philippine Electrical Code? 1. RA 7920 New Electrical Engineering Law 2. PD 1096 National Building Code 3. PD 1185 Fire Code of the Philippines 4. RA 7920 Structural Code of the Philippines Who are the government agencies implementing PEC? 1. Office of the Building Official, 2. Office of the City Electrician, City Electrical Supervising Engineer, 3. Office of the Municipal Electrician, Municipal Electrical Supervising Engineer, 4. Regional Office of the Dole E. Bureau of Fire Protection to enforce the provisions in the Fire Code. The Philippine Electronics Code. The Philippine Electronics Code. Section 1. General Rules 1. Purpose of Rules The primary purpose of these rules is to establish, for the Republic of Philippines, uniform standards, regulations, and requirements for electronics and communications design, planning manufacture, production, fabrication, construction, installation, operation, and maintenance, the application of which will ensure adequate protection and safety to persons therein engaged and as well as in the provision operation and use of electronics and or communications components, devices, equipment, systems, plants, stations, services, and or facilities. Application of the rules will also establish an acceptable level of protection for electronics and communication devices, equipment, and plant from damages due to electrical and or physical hazards. Section 3. General Electrical Protection and Grounding Requirements. 3.1. General, electrical protection measures covered in this code are directed against the effects of lightning, accidental contact with power lines, voltages slash electromagnetically slash electrostatically induced into communication circuits by normal or fault currents in parallel runs of power lines and, also, local earth potential rises due to the flow of lightning or power fault currents. Section 3. General Electrical Protection and Grounding Requirements 3.1.1 Objective communication systems are subject to electrical hazards from exposure to lightning and power systems and unless adequate protection measures are employed. Such exposures may result in loss of life, service interruptions, and excessive maintenance expense. A. The primary considerations of electrical protection are A. To minimize, as far as practicable, electrical hazards to persons engaged in construction, operation, maintenance, or use of communication systems. B. To reduce as far as practicable damage to equipment and plant, c. to eliminate, as far as practicable, any fire hazard resulting from the operation of communication systems, and d. to minimize, as far as practicable, acoustic shock hazards to anyone using communication services. Government agencies tasked to implement Philippine Electronic Code The Department of Interior and Local Government, DILG, Department of Public Works and Highways, DPWH, Department of Information and Communications Technology DICT and Department of Trade and Industry DTI goes hand in hand for joint memorandum circular number 2018 to 2001 dated January 4, 2018, guidelines in streamlining the process for the issuance of building permits and certificates of occupancy. For the complete reference of definition of terms, click the link in the description box. 
https colon slash slash prezi.com slash gpmzcsxaym slash the dash philippine electronics dash code. The teacher may also invite the expertise of a professional electronics engineer to discuss the essence of Philippine Electronic Code Book 1, Book 2, 2, Book 3, and Book 4. A time to remember. This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.